Plain water in, sports drink out. Shirt designs. That is yeah. cool. A single pivot. Mega what? Incredible. Roy core as well. 29 uh, er Wicked Wheel tyre. E-wings cracked. Pretty funky. 29 pipe at point. Lifetime guarantee. 5.75 inches. Brake sensors on. 14.95. One broken hand. <laughs> really cool that Hey guys, we're here this weekend at Tweed Love Festival. Let's go see what we can find. So this is our brand new dual hydration system. It allows you to drink plain water or sports drink on demand. I'll just give you a quick demo. Um, I see plain water in, sports drink out. Back plain water again, really that simple. It keeps the hydration reservoir clean and it allows you to have both drinks on demand whenever you want. Works in conjunction with our two uh, sports drinks, which are here, Forest Fruits and Lemon and Lime. Uh, each of these pouches gives you two 500 ml servings. Each of the servings, 36 grams of carbohydrates, plus salts to replace those that lose through sweating. And how does it work? How, what's what's inside it? Uh, so I'll show you. With this, this is the packaging here. Um, so this is your cartridge, which gets filled with the concentrate. Yeah. Um, and. Essentially, when this switch down the bottom is turned from one side to the other, um, that opens up the valve in the base of the cartridge. So when it's at one side, it opens the valve up, allowing the concentrate to be added to the flow of water. And if it's at the other side, this, this valve shut, meaning that it's only water that comes through the system. And you guys are based up here in Scotland, obviously. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So we're based in uh, the Stirling University Innovation Park, and uh, we're, develop we're manufacturing the system just outside of Edinburgh. Brilliant. Mr. Gary Forrest, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Yourself? Yeah, all right, mate. He's yeah. still riding and still, still fast. Still riding. Don't know if I'm fast. Getting yeah. older, so getting slower. You're local to here, aren't you? <laughs> yes, people's. Yeah. Tell us about this brand. So this is my new clothing brand, Forest Riding, and uh, the first jerseys are made up of outlines of uh, the forest around here. So you've got the outline of Thorny Lee, um, Inelithan, um, Year. That makes a camel print up of the shirt design. So. Yeah. Tell us um, about pricing and sustainability, all that kind of stuff. So this weekend our prices are a bit cheaper because we're at a, vet, a Tweed Love event. Um, so they're £38 for the adults' jerseys and they're uh, £30 for the kids' jerseys. And where can people find this stuff? Uh, at forestriding.co.uk Are you still racing? Are you going to be racing? I'm still weekend? doing bits of racing, yeah. I'm yeah. planning to do the uh, EWS uh, Masters next year here. Oh, wow. So, I'm 35 so who are you riding for nowadays just myself yeah oh, just yeah. myself so yeah bloody hell so you bought bikes this time i bought bikes yeah so wow bit of a shock to the system yeah, but no, yeah. it's good oh well good luck Cheers, oh, thank mate. you very much hi i'm dave uh, i'm the mechanic at shan cycles uh, we're based out in livingston and we make steel um sort of hardtail uh, mountain bikes and some gravel bikes and some touring bikes as well and um, so to start off we've got the the shug here um, so handmade in Livingston and um, this we usually do as a frame only option um, but uh, we brought along a, a lovely show example today um, got some awesome have, parts on that yeah that so we've unusual. kitted it out with um, some Terravale tires um, so this is a brand based out in Minnesota in America made in Taiwan um, sort of really unique tread patterns, um, so we've been enjoying using these. Um, That's like a big a fat bikes. wide yeah. semi slick. Yeah, yeah, basically. Uh, 2.8 on the back there, um, and, a, and a really nice knobbly version on the front here, the Kennebec. Um, White Industries cranks. That's cool, very uh, um, old school. And machined in the US. Yeah. Um, some Magura brakes. Ah, you got the Magura. Um, Dropper as Magura, well. Magura Byron dropper Byron. post as well, the wireless dropper. Yeah. And um, it's a really, really nice spec on this one here. Yeah. And then the ride work stuff as well. Yeah, really lovely ride work stuff. That's nice. That's all UK made, isn't it? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. All machined down in England. It's a lovely looking thing. Next up, we've got this Buhuki. Yeah. Set up single speed for the event um, this weekend. 
totally not anything to do with not being able to buy parts. Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is sort of our, our XE hardtail can be used for um, bike packing as well. Um, again, finished with some Rideworks components. Nice uh, Manitou fork, which has sort of been rebranded for this year. The design they look a little bit more original. Yeah. Again, some nice fast roll and Terraville tires. Um, Crank Brothers dropper post. Um, this is all stuff that we can currently get our hands on and yeah. build a bike out of at the moment. Um, it's all a bit mix and match at the moment. Yeah, right? yeah, essentially, and that's what we do as well. So uh, you know, we we do have production models and um, a sort of a set spec sheet. Yeah. But because every bike is made to order. You can sort of tell us That's what you good. want on the bikes, yeah, yeah. and if we can get tires, I can get a hold of for you. We can sort of change up the feel of the bike and, and, and uh, spec it to what, what, you, what you're wanting to use the bike for. Um, so sort of going on from the mountain bikes, we almost make mountain bikes for gravel riders. Yes. This is uh, our gravel option, um, our fast gravel option with the uh, this is our Stushi, so the steel frame, carbon fork on there, and it's nice and light on the front end. Really fast rolling 47C 650B tires. They look scary, those with like yeah. the semi slick. Sort semi slick, but you drop the pressure down and you get a nice amount of traction out of it. Yeah. Um, fitted up Shimano GRX, um, which we can get our hands on at the moment. Um, and, a, and a Brooks Touring Saddle. Um, it's a really, a really, really nice paint, paint yeah. finish on this one. This is the mint green finish on here. And finally? Finally, we've wow. got our big boy. That uh, is cool. This is the Tam. So three inch tires, front and rear. Uh, and with this, we've spec this with the 14 speed roll off hub, which we do a lot a lot of bikes with. We're yeah. sort of a, a roll off specialist. Um, so yeah, 14 speed internally geared hub. Change the oil once a year, you don't really think about it. Um, all controlled, which is a really simple grip shift up on the handlebars yeah. here. Shimano XT brakes, so super, super reliable. That's ace, that it's is. Awesome. Lovely, thank you very much. Absolutely, no worries. Hi, I'm Neil from Focus. We're here at Tweedlove. Um, I thought I'm here with guys from Pin TV. We'll just show you a quick walk around the Jams uh, Jam 6.0 we have here. So this is the bike that's used by Ollie and Deeks. Um, they have sponsored correct parts on theirs, but the frame is exactly the same. Here we have a large. Uh, this one's spec'd with GX Axis Group set, the Lyric Ultimate Fork, and a super deluxe rear shock. So fully equipped, ready to go. Uh, proper proper travel bike, really. So 150 mil travel. Um, activated by our linkage shock so we have our fold system on this bike and all of our full suspension bikes to be fair uh, which is essentially a single pivot with a linkage activated shock um, and on all the model year 22 bikes the linkage on these is entirely progressive so the idea with that is that it ramps up through its travel as, it, as, as you ride um, uh, it's a playful bike so it's not an out and out enduro bike we have the sand for that which is a bit longer uh, in the e-bike format um, but this is a very playful, fun trail bike, uh, which you'll see when you watch videos of Ollie and Deeks riding it. Do you know geometry on it? Yep, 76 degree seat angle, 75 degree, sorry, 65 degree head angle. Um, reach off the top of my head, I think it's 4, 4, 450 and 455 in a medium. Uh, I can't put it in a large, but I ride in medium. So. Lovely, thank you very much. We are with Nuke Proof here with the awesome Megawatt. Tell us a bit about this bike. So this is Nuke Proof's first e-bike, new for 2021. You are getting the great Shimano EP8 motor. Uh, on this particular model you're getting a 630 watt hour battery. You're also getting a mullet wheel setup, so that means you're getting that really agile back end. And you're also leaving plenty of room for a decent sized uh, motor and battery. So you're getting a 64 degree head angle and 77.5 degree seat angle. Yeah. It's giving you that really nice riding position for climbing as well. It's been really popular so far. Every bit of feedback we've had from demos, back from magazines, media has been fantastic. And um, so yeah, it's been, been going really well so far. And how much do these models cost? Um, yep, yeah, so you have three different price points. Your first spec is the comp spec. That's coming with a 504 watt hour battery, Shimano Dio drivetrain, and it's coming in at five grand. Yeah. You've then got the Elite spec, which is the one you can see here. Yeah. And that's coming with a 630 watt hour battery, and it's coming with Shimano SLX and Fox Performance Elite suspension, and that's coming in at six grand. And then up from that one, you have the factory spec, which you're going up to Fox factory suspension, and you're also getting Shimano XT drivetrain and that's coming at seven grand. <coughs> Lovely, thank you very much. So as you guys know, anyone who's regular 
watcher of Pin TV. We are fully sponsored by WTP. Absolutely love these tyres. And all of these we have in our lineup. We've got the Trail Boss, Vigilante, Vigilante, whatever that one is. Just, just a wider one. Judge Verdict. But this is one tyre that we've never used. And this is the Verdict Wet. Now these come in uh, about 55 quid. So you're not verging on the 70 quids that some other brands are. The difference in this one compared to the Verdict we use, the wet has a deeper tread and a softer tread as well. It's a softer compound. As soon as these things are a bit more regularly back in stock, we're hoping James is going to send us a set to try out because you feel like you're cheating on the normal Verdict when it's wet. So the wet one should be incredible. Um, yeah, so keep an eye on WTB suppliers and see when these come in stock. Look at the size of them knobs. <laughs> this guy is talking about the Olympic bike. So I don't know anything about road bikes but a lot of you will have watched the Olympics lately and you'll have seen that Hope had a big involvement in their carbon plant with some of these track bikes and looking closely at this it's absolutely amazing full carbon everything the bars the forks the cranks even even the chain ring is like it looks like it's a part carbon part alloy nah even that's carbon in it really wow i think so yeah carbon seat post um even carbon, carbon tires look at that <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see a renishaw are involved renishaw are the big company that do the 3d printing tie machines that the Aftons use on their bikes uh, I mean this is all state-of-the-art stuff I mean look closely at the weave on that car it's beautiful now, he said 3d printed titanium machines not time machines <laughs> time machines this is from the future Hey, how you doing? I'm Ian from Endura, product manager. Uh, we're here at Tree Love Festival. I've got our uh, MT500 full face helmet. Uh, it's a couple of seasons it's been around now, really big seller for us. Super, super lightweight, um, enduro friendly full face helmet. Uh, PC shell with EPS integration to keep the weight down. Uh, and crucially, you've got the full choroid core as well. These kind of uh, honeycomb sections you can see in here that replaces quite a lot of the EPS, helps to keep the weight down. Um, Choroid's obviously predominantly air um, and the tube formation gives it a much better energy absorption than traditional EPS foams. Um, so it gives you that energy absorption but it reduces the weight and you can see inside there that a lot of the helmet is taken up with that. One piece construction hidden inside here you've got like a skeleton to give you the reinforcing you need in the chin bar. Uh, a couple of pads are actually missing out of here, but you can see the padding on the inside yeah. there. Yeah, so we're introducing on this, we're doing new colours all the time. I think we're running about five colours at the moment. Uh, so check the website, endurosport.com for details. Lovely. All right, thanks very much. Thank you. Uh, so my name is Ben Dransfield and I'm uh, here with KTM Bikes at the Tweed Love Festival. Uh, and this is the 2021 KTM Prowler Master. Um, it's fairly stuck bog standard long travel trail bike, uh, it's 29er, 160 in the front, 150 in the rear, full carbon frame, rear end and linkage, uh, we do four different specs of this bike as well as an aluminium frame version uh, and this is the second to highest spec. The only things that I've changed on it from stock is the stem, put some hope brakes on it uh, and a set of hope cranks. Uh, and chain ring just to make it look a bit fancy. Right, cool. White it tires are stock. stock. Tires. Yeah. That's stock coloured tires. Stock coloured no tires. Way. Yeah, KTM wow. went Larry for a year, so. Uh, so cool. Yeah. So no Colin this weekend. No, Cole's not here, unfortunately. I think he's away on a family holiday, so he's doing all right. Uh, Perhaps so he's just... recovering from getting third behind me in that race. Yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only saying that because I know it'll wind him up. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. All right, well, thank you very much. Yeah, no worries. Hi, I'm Grant from Schroeber Tyres. Uh, we're here oh, at Tweed it. Love. Tweed Love. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, one, isn't there? Tweed Love de demoing uh, a few tyres that we've got on show. Uh, we've got some new tyres this year with a Big Betty, which is our predominantly aimed as a rear enduro downhill tyre. It is an ambidextrous, can we run front and rear? 
We've got the updated Nobby Nick, and also got the Eddie Current front and rear specific e-bike tyres. Uh, we've got, um, just over here we'll show you one of the few examples of the new Wicked Will tyre that we've got as well, which is our new down country focus aggressive XC tyre. Okay. We'll be here all weekend doing tubeless setups and tyre support for anyone that needs a hand, so we'll do our best to help who we can. Thank you very much. Hey, it's James here from YT UK, and we're here at the Tweed Love Festival in Peebles, and this is the Capra Mark III Launch Edition. Very special bike, limited edition. All of these are sold out. However, yeah, I'll talk you through the spec of the bike. So, we've got 165 mil on the rear, uh, provided by the Cane Creek Katsuma. Mixed wheel size, so 27 inch at the back, 29 at the front. RockShox uh, Zev Ultimate as well. SRAM code, RSC brakes, um, and then the cockpit is Renthal, so really, really nice cockpit, all dialed in with the grips too. Um, we've got the titanium Cane Creek E-Wings cranks, which are amazing, they look stunning in the flesh. Another great feature, water bottle, obviously, this is what a lot of people ask for, so this is what we're given. Just comes out um, in the wing member here on the side. Um, XO, uh, XO1 drive terrain um, as well. And yeah, we've got some industry nine hubs uh, laced to the crank rose wheels like I touched on earlier. Um, and yeah, limited edition cap receipt as well, return of the go with our postman dropper. So yeah, all in all, a really sick bike. Come check it out at the Tweed Love Festival. Hello, all right, how are you doing? That's uh, Freddie Pullman, one of the UK Canyon collective riders here at Tweed Love in Scotland. And tell um, us about your jump bike you got here. Yeah, this is my Canyon Stitch 360. It's um, yeah, custom painted by one of my friends, Luke. Um, yeah, it's got uh, Cardatec pedals, um, set of Pro, Pro 4 hubs front and back on a uh, set of core rims that have um, literally lasted me like two years or so, so they've done pretty well. Um, and this beautiful paint job, that's yeah, incredible. Yeah, Loving that. Pretty, pretty funky, pearly purple colour. Um, and yeah, we custom done the bars to suit with the same sort of, same sort of. Um, I like the fact job. that it's not, not actually pristine. It's a bike that's been yeah, used and it's been used and abused, and that's what I like to see. To be fair, I, it was, it's actually a year old, literally like last week. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's done pretty well. I did, I did uh, pop some busy frame on it because I thought it was no good. Yeah. Having a having a nice bike and it's just scratching on the first outing, so I tried yeah. to do my best to keep it um, looking good. But, um, yeah, it's holding up quite well. That's beautiful. Yeah. Really, really nice. Thank you very much. So I'm Ben from Bird. Um, just introducing you today to the Ether 9C. It's our first carbon model. We bought it out around about a year ago. It's been really successful for us. Um, it's doing great business. So. It's 130 mil travel at the back. It will run 130, 140, or 150 on the front. Um, it's a 29er. It's a dedicated 29er. No mullet options or, or anything like that here. Um, it's got full uh, internal routing, which uses a guide. So you just pop the cables in at one end, and it just fires it out the other end. Um, it's it's made in one of the better factories and we, we're really very happy with the quality of the product. It's, it's come out real good for us and you know it's doing great business. It's not the lightest frame that we've ever made, but it is very strong for its category. Most of our customers, they really want something that's gonna last. They want something they can abuse. That is kind of the bird way. And so that's what we built here. Um, but you can still get it down to a decent weight. And obviously with our full custom program, um, you can pick and choose the parts that you want. You get the bike that you want, whether you want to build a sort of burly trail bike or you're looking for something lighter, you're going to be able to do what you want with this bike. It's going to cover it for you. I'm Ben from Deviate Cycles. Okay, so tell us a bit about Deviate Cycles, so, where you're based. Deviate Cycles, we're a Scottish company, we're based in Stirling. We are about four years old and yeah. we came to market with a bike called The Guide, which was a gearbox um, high pivot point bike uh, and that was about four years ago now. And then we moved on uh, and two years ago we released the Highlander, which is this, uh, this thing we're looking at here. Um, which is a conventional drivetrain high pivot point bike. So you were basically, 
You were one of the first that came with the high idler, high pivot, would you say? Oh, or around the first? I think the guide was, was one of the first. I mean, there's yeah. people who have been doing it on downhill bikes for a long 20 time. years, you know, yeah, but yeah. I think um, the guide was kind of uh, very much an enduro bike. Yeah, it worked great in the Alps. Um, if I'm brutally honest, it didn't work quite as well on kind of trail riding, yeah. you know, power on, power off. It was uh, the gearbox kind of felt a wee bit inefficient. Um, worked amazingly well in the Alps. And then we did, we very much designed the Highlander to be a trail bike from, from the start. So when we decided to drop the gearbox, that was the result of data. That was the result of back-to-back -back testing. Yeah. Between, uh, we had a development mule that had a gearbox that could slot in and then a drivetrain that could slot in. And we would do back-to-back -back testing and we got the data and we worked out that actually for the trail bike, for that specific purpose, the conventional drivetrain was best. But the advantages of the high pivot point were super clear. I mean, certainly in terms of when you're in real rough terrain, um, the way that it holds its speed through stuff. And I think you see that on the downhill circuit, don't you? you see, yeah, yeah. Right? If you've always wanted a bike with, you know, a rainbow cassette and, you know, um, silver hope bits or whatever, then we'll, we'll spec it out for you. Yeah. I think that's quite nice. And I think a lot of customers looking at this kind of bike kind of want that level of uh, customization and, you know, kind of demand that, that level of detail. You know? so, Thank you very much. No problem, Jim. Nice to see you. Hi, it's Duncan McCann from Piger Mountain Bikes. We're here at Tweedlove. It's not raining yet, which is always a good thing. So we're here today to launch the uh, the Mobu, which is our new carbon cross-country bike. And uh, the Mobu is um, carbon fiber. It's actually manufactured in South Africa uh, with our carbon partner. Um, it's designed uh, from the ground up by Patrick Morwood, who, uh, who is the owner and founder of uh, Piger Mountain Bikes. This version here, it's a 118 mil travel, uh, so it's uh, designed uh, straight into the cross country race and marathon. Um, the one cool thing that we have on this as well is the uh, the headset here. We have some uh, machine cups that can uh, reduce the uh, uh, the reach by 10 mil, uh, so you can really fit it perfectly to you. We also do it in a 130 light trail um, or down country is the new term, I suppose. Um, comes with a lifetime guarantee on the frame, the bearings, uh, everything that's on there. Um, due to the uh, manufacturing process, we can only produce around 130 a year. Since we launched it at uh, Malvern's three weeks ago, there's now a five month waiting list, so all good. Nice, thank you very much. Right, well, I'm Alan Finlay. I am Pipe Dream Cycles, and this is the Full Moxie. So what we have here is an all steel, uh, medium sort of travel, 29er, which can be molleted to 27.5. Um, it's got 146.3 millimeters of travel at the back, which is 5.75 inches, and it can take 160 mil travel fork at the front. Probably the most uh, distinctive thing about our bikes is we use full custom tube set for all of our frames so what you see here is we've got completely gussetless uh, fabrication we've got no external reinforcement required at all um, either at the head tube down tube um, junction nor at the uh, where the shock cradle is either uh, we achieve this by effectively well, butting the, the tubes as necessary to avoid all that. Um, it's a single pivot with a low ratio um, to a low leverage ratio, which gives us a sort of super supple, almost like infinite travel feel to the to the travel. So even though it's got just under a hundred, well, just under six inches, it feels like a lot, lot more. One of the things is, it's definitely Scotland friendly. We could have probably got about maybe six and a half, maybe a little bit more travel out the back. But one of the things really, really important to us is that when the we get full compression, it's got plenty of clearance at the back, plenty of clearance with the saddle. So we wanted to make it, you know, just genuinely a uh, bad weather bike for the UK. Um, this one here is a special finish. Uh, it was one of our prototypes originally and one of our team riders asked me if he could basically have, have at it. Yeah, so he's finished it specifically for me in a pearlescent white and he's gone ahead and put my uh, family tartan on it. 
for the decals. Um, as a package, we offer frame, shock, and fork, uh, and we can pretty much build anything that most people want. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, Thank you. So I'm Steve. I run uh, Suspension Doctor, and it's a telemetry-based um, suspension setup service. Okay, tell us how it works, Sam. So we have a, a telemetry kit fitted to the bike. So we've got the main data logger on the front. Uh, we have brake sensors on for brake stroke position. It tells you how hard and how often you're braking front and rear. Um, we have fork potentiometer down here that measures fork movement. And a similar one on the rear to measure shock movement. So how does this work? Do you go out with somebody for a day and then you can yeah. make changes? So we go out for a day, fit this to someone's bike, and then they go and do a run, come back, I'll analyze the data, and then we can make changes from there and just basically balance everything up and get it running so the axles are doing what they're supposed to do and they're doing the same as what the boat, each other's doing, so it's all balanced out. So I think, I think a lot of people will know what difference it makes changing suspension, you know, roughly. Yeah. Obviously, it's a bit of a sort of black art to, for some people, but the thing uh, I'm intrigued about is the braking, your sensors on the braking. Yeah. How can you change the way it rides from getting that information? Um, so, a lot of the time you change a little bit of setup depending on how much you brake and what tracks you ride and that kind of thing. Um, you can improve riders' braking techniques through, so if they're dragging the brakes and not using them to slow down, just to scrub speed instead of actually using it to slow down. You tell if the brake in the corner. Generally, you can point out where people are going wrong with braking. So, what do you charge for this setup for the day if someone wants to come to you? It depends where it is. Yeah. Um, local for me in the northeast, somewhere like Hampstead or something like that, it's about it's two and a quid for the day. Yeah. That's a full day, one on one. Normally takes about 10, 11 runs. Yeah. Um, that gets it pretty much sorted. Uh, we get the numbers right, get initially just get the spring rates right and then concentrate on all the rebound speeds, compression speeds, get it running right, get everything balanced out and then do a little bit of preference, try and open the rebound up maybe a, a little bit and, and see until it gets detrimental and then we know we're in a sweet spot. Um, I also run through all sort of the adjustments and what they do and yeah. when they use them and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Run through any questions, all that kind of stuff. That thank you very much. Spot on, thank you very much. We are here at Trail Match, pretty local to us, um, good friends with these guys. I ride with Aaron, the owner, quite a bit, hell of a rider, and as you can see, he's got all these, you can buy these maps, they are $14.95, these prints, if not in a frame, and they've got absolutely everywhere covered, they turn off in these things. And then if you want them framed like this, you can do it without the, the Canon reflection. There you go. The Dolphy Classic here. Lentress. A Forest. You can send in your Strava, your GPX file, and they'll custom do your own. $39.95 if you want them in a frame, got a lovely stand, lovely people <laughs> and hopefully by the time you see this video we will have a discount code and affiliate link and you can click on the bottom of the video and get yourself one slightly cheaper rate and that is trail maps from Canuck. So I'm Bryn from Trek, uh, I'm a product trainer and we're here at Tweed Love with uh, our rail, our Bosch e-bike. Um, the rail is our kind of enduro e-bike and it's been used over the weekend um, in the EMTB challenge. 160 mil fork, 150 mil back end with essentially the same geometry as our enduro bike with slash, um, but with the e-bike motor and battery. It has quite a cool system of how the battery lives in the bike. So you can um, pop the whole thing out with just the use of the key and then pull it out and charge it in and out of the bike. You can even do it with one hand. Do it with one Pretty broken much. hand. <laughs> and then just pop it back in nice and easy. It's got all the same features of every Trek suspension bike. So ABP suspension, adjustable geometry by the um, Mino link, um, through shaft shock, which is a Trek developed shock. 
and then loads of EMTB components. So you've got the EMTB rated Zeb, great big strong wheels and brakes. Um, and we do a ton of different models, so carbon, aluminium, hardtail, you name it. Yeah, okay. And yeah. what did you do? You raced us yesterday, didn't you, in the, in the e bike yeah. challenge? Yeah. What happened? Stage, Talk us through it. Talk us through it. So, stage three. Uh, uphill switchback, so flying uphill as fast as I could and just lost the front wheel and landed on my hand. Oh, no. And that's the end of uh, my first ever e bike race. <laughs> yes. Well, that's thank you very much, and yeah, there you go. Trek rail, you see plenty of these on the trails. These things sell very well. Thank you very much. Right, we're here with Graham from Six Element Wheels. Uh, we can say these are very good wheels. We use them for a season and never had one bit of trouble. Tell us about your wheels. Yeah, sure. So, uh, as you know, we build all our carbon wheels by hand in Manchester. Uh, they're built with uh, choice of rims for various enduro riding. We do some XC wheels, we do some gravel wheels as well. Our best seller by far is our Stealth Seacal wheel. As you probably know, the decals are physically part of the bin. They don't come off, they're not stickers, so uh, you don't have any problem with your wheels looking tired after a bit. They look fantastic for a long, long life. Our wheels start at 997 for a pair. That's with the Hope Hubs. Yeah. Of course, if you want to have DC Swiss or i9s or, or even the Kings, we can do all of those things. Okay. And everything's built to order, so whatever color you want for the Hubs, that's no problem at all. What sort of warranty do you offer? So we do this amazing crash replacement where we cover you whatever happens. Uh, you do that by registering once you bought your wheels. It's uh, £39 for three years cover or £99 for lifetime cover. And that's your lifetime, not the lifetime of the wheels. So. Here at Bespoke Cycles, Peebles, Sam. And they've got these interesting looking Revel bikes. Uh, looks like these are all carbon with possibly yeah, carbon back ends and they've got like a floating floating rear suspension platform American that's kind of all I can tell you about this at the moment but we know the guy who's working with them and we might have some demos soon so thinking about possibly Hi guys, it's Sam here from Line Cycle. We're at Tweedler with Jolbo Eyewear and we're showing off a range of goggles and glasses. So Jolbo are really well established right, within so kind of snow sports and mountaineering left, and we're pushing to get better recognition within cycle. Um, the quality the course, of the lenses so is, is exceptional and we've got two products minutes. just to talk you through now. So two things Jolbo are really good at. We've got reactive lenses which are photochromatic and the clarity and the, the quickness of, of how they react is, is exceptional, really, really good. So you've got something like this will go from completely clear through to as dark as you need for everything except snow sports, really. So just one pair of glasses that's going to do it all. Then we've got quick shift goggle. Again, takes a lot of uh, inspiration from snow sports. It's a double layered goggle. It comes with two lenses, so you've got a cap 2 and a clear, and it's anti-fog, it's vented, and if you want some more ventilation, you've got the vents that just pop up the bottom there. So we've got a full range, so any questions, come down and let us know. Thank you very much. I was a head back for a night in the Tweedlove pits on a mattress in the Easy Up. I hope you like day one. I hope you like the little pit tour. Thank you for watching. Check out links in description for some of the products we use, our merchandise and our sponsors. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in three. Keep it pinned. Hooray.